Hey everybody, Haku here with my live reaction for Boku no Hero Academia chapters 252 and 253. I'm so excited, I get to read two chapters in one week. Uh, but last week, since I was off doing holiday stuff, I was like, okay, next week I'll do double reactions for everything, all the manga that's usually on Fridays. Uh, so that's all going to be coming today, but... I'm just so excited. Two chapters at once, and I don't know anything that happened in 252. I wasn't spoiled at all. The only thing I saw about it is people saying that it was really, really good, and when I was like, oh, I'm not reading it till next week, everybody was like, very kindly, like, okay, I won't spoil then. Uh, all I've heard is that it's really, really good. And I'm excited because I love this Endeavor storyline. Endeavor's my second favorite character, just behind Kirishima. Um, he's probably the most well-written character, in my opinion, for Boku no Hero Academia, but it's just... I'm so excited. I am so excited to get into this. And um, so we have 252, The Unforgiven. The Metallica fan in me is really, uh, really happy with this title, but... Oh my gosh. Having saved Natsuo from ending... Um, so, I don't... Like... What do I think's gonna happen? Could Natsuo even forgive him? Could we learn more about Toya? Like, I don't know if Natsuo is gonna forgive him this quickly, but I think it's at least like a step in a small step in the right direction, at least. Oh, I'm so excited though. Having saved Natsuo from ending, chapter two or er, two fifty two, the Unforgiven. Are you hurt? I'm fine, damn it. Let me go, <laughs> says Bakugo. It's hot, says uh, Natsuo. You smell like you smell like a grandpa's <laughs> Bakugo. <laughs> Bakugo is one of uh, the funniest characters, though. Look at that face, worried about his child. <laughs> Bakugo just slips and slides out from his arm. <laughs> what happened to the white line prick? No, not you. This is this is all wrong. And we see he's all frozen by Todoroki. I've captured him. I thought I was going to die, and we have the people getting out of the cars that Izuku saved. Blah. Is anyone injured? No. We're saved thanks to you. It was you, right? Hey, er, hey, Dunku. Are all the extras alright? I'm not sure, but the people who were in the cars are just fine. It's our complete victory, says Izuku, smiling. Shut your face. But why? <laughs> what was that you said, number one? This winter, at least once, defeat a villain. Faster than you was. <laughs> I love that Bakugo just immediately tells Izuku to shut up and then starts bragging to Endeavor. <laughs> While Izuku is just so, like, kind in all of this. Like, why do I need to shut up? <laughs> uh, it's great. Indeed. You boys were outstanding. You were able to cover for my mistake at the fastest possible speed. Getting all modest on me all of a sudden? You're supposed to be more frustrated, damn it. Got John. Let get and Natsuo pushes away from him. Natsuo. I'm sorry, for a moment I actually stopped to think. I feared that if I were to save you, that you'd never speak to me from here on out. What? Natsuo, it's fine if you don't believe me. I never meant to neglect you, kids. For all these years. But I did fail to take responsibility. I ran away. With Toya, too. It's as if I'm the one who killed him. You never meant to neglect us? And what do I care? Er, and what do I care? I've heard everything from Toya growing up. If you're wondering when I'm going to forgive you, the answer's never. I'm not kind like Shoto. And then, Izuku and Shoto look on. Even so. Even so, you chose to join us tonight for Fuyumi and Rei's sakes, didn't you? That girl longs for a proper family more than anything else, all because I destroyed the family she had. So, she tries restlessly to fix things, to bring us back together. And you're trying your best to respect her feelings, aren't you? You're plenty kind. Follow <laughs> this person in the car. <laughs> That's why. You're probably getting ready to forgive him. Oh, and he listen he's thinking about when he listened in. Because you're an incredibly kind person. You don't have to forgive me, says Endeavor. And then we see everyone's reactions. I don't want you to forgive me, but I do want to atone for what I've done. Don't er, don't try and play the nice guy with me, and Natsuo starts crying. Sis has been so happy lately, but every time I see your face, 
I can't help but remember everything. Why do I have to be the one to proactively try and change? Atone, you say? And how exactly do you plan on doing that? What can you do? I've been thinking, and... And the ending just starts shrieking. Hey, stop this endeavor. Uh, how can you be so pathetic? Stop it, please. You were supposed to be my arrogant, ferocious flame, my dazzling light. You are my only hope. Don't do this. At this rate, you'll disappear forever. No, this is all wrong. It's the police. Thank goodness, as he's a cute. He enhanced his white line paint con er, paint controlling quirk with drugs. Although we've seen a noticeable decrease of them on the black market, they're still out there. You'd better watch er, you better watch your back. This is the second guy who's had it out for you in the last few days. Honestly, the darkness in our society never fades. Interesting. I guess maybe they're referring to the uh yeah, they're showing him now, the uh, other guy. What was his name like? Star Stargazer? Star Servant? St something like that. So <laughs> something like that. He was around for like ha half of a chapter, a couple pages, and yet neither does the light. Thanks. Uh, what are your hero names? Says Natsuo. Huh? It's just Bakugo, right? Hey, isn't that Choto? Holy crap! That ain't it. Oh, oh yeah, because we know he has one. But we had the flashback with Best Genist where he was planning to say it like once he like lived up to Best Genist's whatever. But uh yeah, I'm excited. So I wonder if he's he's gonna say it anytime soon. Oh, you finally decided on one? Tell me. I'm not telling you jack shit. Drop dead, asshole. Is he gonna be best explodist? What about me? Same goes for you, fuckface. There's someone I gotta tell it to first. Ah. Because he's going to tell it to Best Genus first. That's the best. Maybe that's what it was. It wasn't that he's going to live it, live up to Best Genus. It's that he was going to be the one he tells it to. Hawks, I guess you really do have a good set of eyes, thinks Endeavor. After that, Endeavor dropped us back at school. I heard about what happened from Todoroki the next day. You were attacked? Ah, oh, Fiyumi, adorable. Are you all right? Yeah, Shoto and his friends saved me. Fuyumi, I already talked to Shoto and Natsuo about this, but you're trying to build a home that your mother can return to free of worry. In the end, all I could do was rely on you and you've done so much. But it's all right now. Oh, I wonder if because of his dream he's going to have Ray come back and he's going to leave. I keep having the same dream. I dream about my family with me missing. I'm going to have to build a new house, er... I'm going to have a new house built in a more convenient location for you two. You can welcome your mom back there. But what about you? If I really care about them, then I'm staying here. Because he cares, he chose to distance himself. And again, it's one of those things where it's like, that's not really what they want. That's not like a satisfying ending, but he thinks it is. Like, he thinks the only way to atone is to punish himself when, like, just ruminating and punishing yourself isn't a way to help people. Like, even if he does provide them with that house, like, if it comes at the sake of his own suffering, it doesn't really help them. So I, I just, I think it's so interesting how Endeavor... It's not like he's like, oh, I'm going to atone by doing this or by doing that. At first he thought he could atone by just being a really good hero, and then he real or, er, like, maybe being forgiven, and then he realizes, I don't want to be forgiven, or I don't want that sort of thing. I don't deserve forgiveness. I just need to do my best in the future. And that was after the fight with um, High End. And then he realizes now, after that, that he's like, well, maybe instead of doing my best not expecting forgiveness, I should distance myself and let them be happy without me, which is, again, a mistake that maybe sometime in the future he's going to have to figure out as well. So again, really cool. Next issue, a color page in celebration to the movie. And guess the heck what? We get to read the next chapter right now. I'm so excited. How's it only been nine minutes? My recording says like nine minutes. This has been so good. Oh, this has been so good. I'm so excited. So we have a color page here. I'll save everyone. What is with Ida's, Ida in this? I'll save everyone with these legs of mine. The first of two consecutive color pages as we count down to the new movie.
That would be a pretty interesting alternate costume for Ida, though. But it seems like that would be more clunky than it would be helpful. Either way, though. Moving along, we got another color... Oh, it says first of two consecutive. I thought that, me I thought that meant two in this chapter, but no, it must mean another next chapter. Alright. Chapter 253, Shirakumo. No idea. Shirakumo is a, a polar bear, right? Or is that just Shirokuma? Or that's Shi... Oh, that's Shirokuma, not Shirakumo. Not sure what Shirakumo then. Kumo is a cloud. Kumo is also a spider. No idea. Uh, but yeah. Chapter 253. Winter break was over in a flash, and school started again. Before we knew it, there were only three months remaining in our tumultuous first year. Oh, I just got chills! Think, like, in the, like, two years or so that I've been reading this series, like, they've been in their first year and now finally getting close to being second years? Ah, oh, it's crazy. Happy New Year, everyone. Everyone's internships are over. Alright. Oh! So really, then, is everyone just going to be back to normal class and they're not going to be work-studying anymore? Today's class will be an action report meeting. All of your assignments, achievements, and progress over winter will be shared with the class. Oh, I love this. Are we going to get to learn about what they all did? I hope I hope we do. I hope we get to learn about what everyone did. Uh, even if it's got to take multiple chapters. I would, uh, Of course, the I want it now part of me wants it to all be this chapter, but it'll probably have to be over a span of multiple ones. Come, everyone. Don your suits and proceed to field Alpha, I think. Proceed to field Alpha. How long are you going to keep blab? Happy New Year, Mr. Aizawa, and they're running past him. I've already relayed a summary of today's tasks to the class, sir, just as you asked this morning. He has been running around in circles today. Manuel, the hero I interned with, formed a team in Hosu and made me the leader. It may have only been for a week, but I learned all about... How to be more mild-mannered. Ah, there he goes again. It's like a bicycle that has its chains loose at a moment's notice. <laughs> Mr. Aizawa, please report to the faculty room. Uh, I like this, seeing how they grew, and I like that he worked with um, the Hosu heroes. Sign, changing room. Ochako, you're, er, you changed your costume. It looks great on you. A minor change. Really? Thanks. This thing's heavy. What are you, a gold medalist? An Uraraculist? Okay, because uh, she removed, or did she remove the... Um, Oh no, never mind, she's putting them on. I was going to say, did she remove those things because she doesn't need them to help with her balance anymore, but I guess not. It's got wire. Thanks, it's got wires in it. Because of my quirk, heavy equipment isn't a handicap whatsoever. Ah, that's really smart, actually. Although the suitcase gets heavy. What about this thing? Ah, and then she reacts to it. <laughs> okay. And we see a little All Might doll. It says, Netsuke? Or Nekke? Isn't that... Oh. A, a little All Might charm falls out of it. Isn't that... Oh, and is that Izuku's charm or something? We have Mina's reactions. Like, high speed. I love it. I knew it. You've got, no, you've got it all wrong, Hashido. Really? That's not how it is. I keep those feelings locked away. Oh, and we... I, we remember because she decided over the course of multiple arcs that even if she cared for him, she wanted to be the best hero she could be instead of thinking about romance. Which is, again, really cool in that, I don't know, the feelings are there, but she's also being mature and saying that she wants to be a hero, she wants to save people and stuff, like what she said to Night Eye that time. Ah, oh, it's really cool. I keep those feelings locked away. At least I was pretty sure she was saying it to Night Eye as she was helping him out of the crater while Izuku was fighting Overhaul. Now we have Izuku. So, you made that rampaging quirk your own. Seriously? That was fast, says Kirishima. And it seems like Uraraka and Kirishima both have longer hair now. Seriously? That was fast. Even so, I can only bring it out for a split second. So, its uses are limited. But... It's strong. I like this, talking about his, um... <laughs> talking about Black Whip. 
The things on Bakugo's head are apparently sharp and pointy, because he just shurikens it into his head and we see the blood spatter. <laughs> Screw you. Bakugo, what on earth are you doing? This is bad, as Grey Matter's leaking out. Midoriya! <laughs> In short, it all came down to conditioning my body to it. But the speed and sensation are just too different from what I'm used to, so if I have to think about it, I can't keep it up. Okay. So he pretty much just has to do it on instinct by conditioning his body to use it. He can't, like, analytically control it. I. Am. Here to serve up some cotton candy. All Might. Huh? Where's Mr. Aizawa? Hey guys, did you seriously just brush off my new almighty pun? Er, <laughs> thou art formidable opponents indeed. Get it? Watashi ga kita? Er, watagashi kira? Uh, this is a pun because it's Cotton Candy Machine, w or Watagashi Kira. Sounds very similar to I Am Here, Watashi ga Kita, of course. Just moments ago, Aizawa had to attend to some urgent business. Oh? Can't you go any faster? And we see he's with present Mike. Put a sock in it and calm down, would you? Is this about the friend they talked about before? When we fought at USJ, his behavior wasn't the slightest bit similar. Oh? There's a limit to how low these guys can stoop. Personally, I'm betting that Tsukauchi's just mistaken on this one. What? When they fought at USJ? So is Kurogiri somebody they know? Because it can't be the Nomu, because we already knew the Nomu's identity. Is it Kurogiri, then? As you two are er, as you two are already aware, Nomu are creatures that have been modified through human intervention. They're humans that are now able to endure the burden of having multiple quirks. However, they aren't living human beings. From their brains all the way to their hearts, their insides are a complete mess. No more are puppets, in every sense of the word. Puppets with no will of their own. Or so we thought. It, er, okay, more Nomu development? If I may, Gran Torino. I'm skipping class to come here today. Or did they find something else about, um, about high end? So, I did, er, I'm skipping class to come here today. Sorry, I'm just so excited that I'm getting all mixed up reading. <clears throat> so I'd appreciate it if you made this brief, Aizawa. This is a necessary discussion, and we have to follow the proper order. That should help you sort your feelings out as well, says Tsukauchi. This guy is the core of the League of Villains. If we could just make him talk, we'd be able to take down their leader in one go, but unfortunately, he hasn't shown any signs of or er, he hasn't shown signs of spilling anything important at all. He'll engage you in pointless conversation, but when it comes to any information that would be disadvantageous to the League, he immediately goes dead silent, as if someone pulled the plug on him or something. Meaning, it was so elaborate that it took time for us to realize but several different quirk factors have been fused within him, creating a brand new quirk. And the quirk factor that serves as the base for them all. Okay, so Kurogiri then is a Nomu. That's crazy. Like we had no idea Kurogiri was a Nomu this whole time. Is exceedingly similar to that of the man who once upon a time laughed and cried together with you two as UA students. Shota, and then lost his life at a young age. I'm referring to Oboro Shirakumo. It was all just too sudden. Chapter 253 End, next issue a color page. Insanity. A, I'm really excited to learn more about this. I want to know more about Aizawa and their past and all that that we've seen little bits and flashes and mentions of. Uh... But now Kurogiri might be a new a Nomu created from their former friend, and if so, what all quirks does Kurogiri have other than his warping? Insane. I did not expect Kurogiri to be a Nomu this entire time, which means that Kurogiri is like the highest of the high end. He is like the original high end, but better even than the others. I mean, not necessarily in combat, because I think like Hood was like the most powerful villain we've seen so far, except maybe All for One? But even then, Hood was clotheslining skyscrapers and stuff out here. So, but the thing with Hood is that he was kind he was like, 
sentient, but kind of mentally unstable. He had the really bad stuttering issue. His mind would get all jumbled. He was obsessed with power and stuff. But Kurugiri seems very, very intelligent. So, um... Or very intelligent and well-spoken and mild-mannered. Like, you wouldn't be able to tell he was a Nomu whatsoever from the way he speaks or behaves. So it's interesting that he's, like, highest of high-end. This is crazy. I'm super excited. I am super excited. Um, yeah, and, of course, uh, the first comment here, I'm not reading all of it, but somebody mentions Vigilantes. I know that Aizal was in Vigilantes. I don't know all the details or anything. I plan, though, next year, because I probably need to spend the rest of December... <laughs> Honestly, I probably need to spend the rest of December catching up on stuff I'm behind on for the channel, but I've been wanting to start Vigilantes for a long time, do read-throughs like I did back in the day for Pokémon Academia before we caught up. So I think next year, expect that on the channel. Expect read-throughs for Vigilantes on the channel next year. Because I love the series, and I just want more of the series. So yeah, expect Vigilantes read-throughs next year. Uh, in addition to that, I also, yesterday on Discord and Twitter, posted, and I might make a video on topics like this at some point, but my opinions change kind of often on things like this, but I did like a best girl list or top waifu list for Hero Academia, and I put it on the Discord or on Twitter, and if you want a link to the Discord, all you have to do is ask and I'll give you a link, because it's free and open for anyone, but, uh, yeah, so... That's there if you wanted to see my thoughts on Top Waifu or Best Girls on in uh, Boku no Hero Academia. I like, tried to get pretty much every female character, so I did a Top 35. Um, so there is all that. And I guess that's it. I'm just excited for next week. My mind is racing. Oh, I was going to say, other than the Aizawa and like backstory and Chirakumo stuff, other than that stuff, which is really, really cool that I want to learn more of, I hope we get to learn more of what all the uh, Class 1A characters did during their uh, work studies, like when we saw them in the, um, when we saw them in the little huge two-page spreads where there were two of them, and we saw the Class 1A and Class 1B characters. I honestly, I want to know more. Even if they do like a spin-off, I don't know what Team Up Mission is about or anything like that. I don't know what that's about. But... I would just like some side stories about, like, what did what is Ryukyu's group doing? What did they do? Because, like, even in the overall arc, when they were in that arc, we really didn't see much of that group. I want to see more of that group. Uh, I want to see what um, Setsuna and Momo were doing wherever they were, or what Ida was doing with the Hosu group. I want to see all of these different things at some point in the future. But, yeah. Either way, I enjoyed it a lot. I hope you did too. Like if you liked the video and comment down there to tell me what you thought of this week's chapter and last week's chapter and what you thought of my thoughts on both of them. Uh, subscribe for more. Boku no Academia, both anime and manga, much more on the channel. Follow on Twitter if you want. I tr I'll try to keep you updated there and stuff for the channel or talk to you there. Uh, but I have been just posting more updates here on YouTube, really, uh, in the community tab. Uh, also, if you want to join the Discord server to talk to me or more of us about this series or anything else, like I said, it's free and open for anyone. All you have to do is ask and I can give you a link. Um, and then lastly, if, uh, if you want to help support the channel on Patreon to just help me keep it going week to week uh, there, and then uh, it's patreon.com slash Haku of the Tubes, or a link will be in the description for that. But yeah. I really, really enjoyed this. I'm excited to read more of it. Next year, I'm excited to start Vigilantes. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.